Sailor provides a command line tool to speed up and automate interactions with Sailor Cloud and its ecosystem. With the CLI, you can interact with the Sailor platform to quickly create and manage almost anything in Sailor. In this video, I will show you how to get started with Sailor CLI. We will go through some basic commands related to fundamental Sailor concepts and their relations. This should provide a good overview of the CLI and its capabilities designed to improve development experience with Sailor. To get started, we need to install the Sailor CLI using npm or any other node package manager such as yarn or pnpm. In this video, I will be using pnpm, so it's pnpm at g for global Sailor CLI. So once installed, I can just run it as Sailor. And this will show me a list of commands that are available. So the first thing we need to do is to log in to Sailor Cloud. As we can see, we are not logged in right now. So we will just do that Sailor login. This will open your browser to authenticate with Sailor. So we need to provide our Sailor Cloud credentials. And then we can close this window and return to the CLI. As you can see, we are successfully logged into the Sailor Cloud. And now we can run Sailor again. And here at the top, we can see that we are logged in. We can also run Sailor status to see our login status. So when you're using Sailor CLI, you need to be logged into the Sailor API, but you can also optionally be logged into the Versal and GitHub. And this will automate certain tasks like deploying and managing your GitHub repositories. So let's run against Sailor without any parameters. And the first command we will be checking is Sailor organization, which has an alias org. So I can say Sailor organization or just Sailor org. And this will show me all the commands related to managing my organizations. Usually you will have only one organization, but let's see if that's the case in my example. So indeed I have just one organization. I can use show with the slug to show the details of, the, of this organization. And if I need JSON, I can just add JSON. This is useful for automating tasks, for example, on your continuous integration or just generally consuming JSON is, is much easier. You can also remove your organization. We won't be doing that right now. Check the permissions and then set the default organization if you have more than one. The next command we'll be checking is Sailor environment with an alias env. So let's check that environment or just env. And once again, let's see which environments are available. So environment and Sailor is an instance of your Sailor API. In this case, I have only one environment and this environment is in production with this particular version. As with organizations, I can uh, see the details. This time I need to use the key. And again, if I need to have it in JSON format, we can also create a new environment. So let's try to do that. I will call it foo and I need to select the project. And then I need to select the database template so I can have a blank. This is mostly the case if you're creating a new production setup, but we can also have a sample data already filled in in your database so you can just play with it. So let's go with sample. And then we can set up the prefix for our domain. So I'll keep it with foo. If it already exists, we are getting this error and we can just change it to, for example, bar. I would like to enable dashboard access. I will keep the 
admin login the same as the one associated with the Sailor Cloud. And I don't want to restrict the access. And it, it will take a while to create a new environment. So once it's being created, we can open a new window and we can run Sailor Job List for foo. And as you can see, we have a job running for this environment, which is in progress. It seems the environment has been created. Let me close that. So we have the URL. So we use the bar as the prefix, and that's the URL we created for this environment. And we can also deploy a storefront, because usually when you're creating a commerce solution, it's not only the API, but you also want to have a storefront. But in this case, we will not be doing that right now. So let's go ahead and open the playground first. We can try to run a simple query. So let's see. I'll be taking first 10 products. And I will display the name. I need to specify the channel. So it's default channel. And I have 10 products. Let's go back and let's run again Sailor Env list to list the environment. I have two now. One is production and one is sandbox. Sandbox means that you are testing your environment. And once you are ready, you can promote it to production. So in order to promote an environment using CLI, we use just promote with the environment key. We can also populate the database as we did when creating. So for example, if you change your mind, you can create a blank database and then populate it. We can also clear the, the database using the clear and we can upgrade the sailor version. So we don't need this environment. Let's remove it. I will say yes. This will also take a while. We need to downgrade all the services and remove them. Let's run Sailor Env list again to see if the environment is removed, and it is. And finally, let's talk about backups. So there is another common backup, and you can create a backup of your environment at any time. So let's try to do that. So first, let's list available backups. As I have only one environment, I don't need to select that. There is automatic backup being made each day. But we can also do a custom backup with the create command. So let's do sailor backup create my little backup. And the backup is created. So let's list backups again. So I have all the previous backups and the new one as well. If we check the list of subcommands for backup, we can see that we can, of course, create or remove them, but we can also restore from a particular backup. So if something goes wrong, you can just list your backups, take the key and restore it from the given day using the CLI. So these are the basic commands of the Sailor CLI. In the next video, we will see how to use CLI to create a storefront and to connect it with your Sailor instance.